So the final beta has been upon us for just over a month now, and I kind of want to make this video to kind of address my thoughts and feelings on how the beta has been going, the direction the devs are taking with the beta, how they're reacting to feedback, and my thoughts and feelings on how I'm going to approach the rest of this beta, um, and immediately how I'm going to approach how I play the game, because I do feel like a lot of people are maybe approaching this beta a little bit wrong, like they did the first one, and there's a lot of mixed opinions on whether you should buy the game now or wait till launch. Personally, I'm going to come flat out and say you should wait till launch. A vast amount of people are also agreeing the same, and these people are playing the game now, and they've played the game in beat phase one, and they're still saying wait till launch, because I do feel like a lot of people are feeling a little bit burnt on how long the process is taking. I mean, I played back, and I think last August, so it's been well, it's been it's been pretty much a year now. It has been a year now since beta phase one started for me. And, you know, I'm, I'm really ready to start playing this game for real now. I really want my progress to be counted, to continue to be counted, not to be wiped. And the prospect of my, pro of my progress being wiped is putting me off playing a little bit, but that's, I feel like that's because I'm approaching the beta in the wrong way. And I feel like a lot of people have approached this beta in the wrong way because I, I'm seeing the population, population of the outer zones and the red zones and, you know, the lesser populated green zones. Um, has plummeted massively um, and you're lucky to really see 10 people clustered around a bank in a city um, nowadays unless you're in like the black the populated black zones or the populated red zones you know you're, you're like your bog haven or whatever is pretty sparsely populated you know your queen's market and your king's market will always be trade hubs but even they on like peak hours aren't really what you, they're supposed to be but it, i guess it is a visa um, but I do feel like a lot of people have approached it in the wrong way, they're kind of grinding it like it's full release, they're kind of going at it and trying to be the best and power gaming up, rather than approach it in a way where you learn things and you learn everything and then you decide what's going to be right for you, for you from the get-go. And I'm not saying people should do that, everyone should do that, I mean if you want to approach the game in a certain way then by all means do it, but your attitude towards the game is definitely going to affect your enjoyment. And Albion Online is a game where you have to kind of create your own content, you kind of have to get integrated with guilds, and I feel like a lot of guilds at the moment are really approaching this game in the wrong way because they're, they're expecting their members to be experienced and to dedicate so many hours to the game. I, I, I can't, I've lost count of how many guilds I applied for on the forums that were like, oh, you need to be playing four to six hours, and it's like, well, the game's in beta, guys, chill out, you know? Why are you expecting people to play four to six hours? Uh, you know, I kind of want to just get integrated with a community, maybe chill out with people on Discord or TeamSpeak, form some internet friends, and then go into the, the, the full release with a guild that I'm going to go with immediately, and I know I'm going to join those guys and roll with those guys from the get-go. So I feel like a, I feel like the attitude towards this beat is really wrong. I feel my, my personal approach is trying out every single weapon set in the game first and foremost. I really want to do that. I've tried out the crafting, tried out the gathering. I need to. I actually want to um, start gathering um, ore so I can get the enchant the tier the the point twos and the point threes. So I can then craft the point twos and the point threes of the armor and the point fours, hopefully, and see how that goes and see how profitable that is. I want to try and get my hands on like a, a dire wolf. Try that out. See how cool that is. Um, get integrated with the uh, the worker system and the guys that go out and get you get you uh, materials when you give them journals and stuff. I haven't touched that yet, so I want to look into that. And I really want to know everything there is to know about the game right now and learn it all, so I have as big of an advantage as possible at launch. Because I want to I want to get the legendary founders back, and I want to be at the top of the game when it first comes out. You know, I'm thinking about taking days off work, not days off work, like a, a day or two off work. To grind it out, you know, I really want to do a 24 hour stream if I can get some people to watch and I really want to bang it out, but I want to learn exactly the route I'm going to take from launch um, and what's worth me investing my time in at first and what's maybe not and sort of focusing in a specific item line rather than doing what I am at the moment and um, dispersing out into different item lines. But that's what I'm doing. I want to, I want to I want to try every single weapon in the game. I really want to try all the artifacts, but that's going to be really steep because that's going to be very expensive. Um, I've tried a few, and the few I have tried have been really fun. Um, and I just want to—I want to get a feel for every weapon set and every armor set, and, and and see what is the most fun to me. 
rather than what is the most viable. Um, because I'm not interested I, in running Claymore. Um, if if it's fun, I'll run it. That's how I that's how I approach games. If it's fun, I'll use it, unless it's awful. Um, which I don't think anything is really awful at the moment. But anyway, I'm going off track, so I kind of just want to like experience everything, get what I think is the most fun, roll with that, specialize in that, hopefully get a, a guild together, but that's been... Uh, well, join a guild, but that's um, proving to be really difficult. Um, because, I, I again, I just feel people's attitude to the beta is so wrong, and people should just be trying things out. People should be less afraid to just go and... PvP and because your stuff's gonna get wiped. Why are you worried about your stuff? It will be wiped. Why are you worried about losing it to a player? You're going to lose it to the devs when they wipe everything. They're gonna wipe your fame. You will have nothing when they wipe it. It's not like anything carries over. The only thing that carries over is your founder's level, and you've had that for since you bought the game. So it's kind of this weird attitude, you know. I am like super super just gung-ho i will charge into fights i've done a couple 1v3s i've ganked two people doing a dungeon i killed one and then i died but i wasn't salty because it's like every time i feel that little that urge to be like oh that's really annoying i shouldn't have done that or i should have done it this certain way i'm like hey no worries you know it's beta whatever i learn that's what i'm doing so i'm learning from this beta so when i go in full release I can make as few mistakes as possible, and the mistakes I do make um, will kind of worth it, you know? So just kind of play the game to have fun. Um, you know, there's a lot of people that really risk a at the moment. There's a lot of people doing really... Um, I don't want to say try hard, because that's kind of the wrong word, but they're doing really kind of anti-fun things, like they're mass zerging groups, rather than giving themselves fair fights to kind of learn from these fights, you know... I, I feel like there's so few people in the game at the moment that I'm seeing that have the right attitude for me. And that's why I found it so hard to integrate with any guilds so far. And most of time zones, there seem to be a lot of US guilds um, and not many EU guilds that I've seen so far. I mean, if you're in a guild and you maybe want to just let me join um, for PvP rooms and that'd be cool, but I am looking for a certain sort of attitude. Um, and I am looking to kind of grasp what's good for me. Um, I'm thinking of releases just going very crafter and gatherer heavy and focusing on my economic game rather than my PvP game at release to get as much silver as possible. Because so I think that's where it's going to be easiest to earn silver is at the release of the game. Um, you know, buying gold. I remember at the start of Beta Phase 2, gold was 18 a piece. And if you've looked at it now, it's 220, 200 and odd. Um, so I'm really kind of looking forward to release. Um, I don't know if there's anything else I want to say. I've got this clip running in the background. You'll see that I'm kind of running my my build that I did a T6 dungeon guide for. Um, if you if you were using that build, if you are using that build for economic gains and PVE, um, definitely copy what I've done here. Um, I'm running 5.2 now. I'm running 5.2 soldiers gear. I'm running the T6 soldiers boots because they give you the heal bonus. Take the heal bonus on every single piece of armor. Take the shield. It makes everything... It actually makes things quicker because you're, you're taking so much less damage and you can do bigger pulls. You see here, I'm just going from spawn to spawn. It's really nice and easy. Um, you can do C7 dungeons in this. I, I did one, but it is difficult and you have to be on your game. Don't do pulls that are too big. I might go and do a, um, a guide for that using this build because this is a really fun build. And if you somehow manage to get the sarcophagus, you can easily do the T7 because the sarcophagus shield is really nice. Anyway, I mean, like, kind of talk, going back to my attitude towards the game, a couple of days ago, I was realising that I was getting burnt out because um, because I, I left town with a Stalker's gear set. Um, and if you don't know what Stalker's gear is, it's the Morgana leather armour. I had the chest piece and the boots, and the chest piece is worth about 200k. I had it to 4.2, that's about 200k. And it, I was having so much luck with it, I was running this really nice electric the electric vortex that you you cast with the chest piece does a lot of damage around you and i was running claws so i was basically rooting them into my electric vortex and the damage was insane it was doing seven, it was doing 140 damage every second for eight seconds with my claw root with you know auto attacks and everything i was destroying people ganking people left and right it was so much fun and i i cursed myself for not recording a lot of it um 
and I realized I was getting burnt out when I was watching a World of Warcraft stream or whatever on my other screen and I left town and I accidentally clicked uh, a player that was entering town on his horse and of course the guards kill me the, the guards go straight for me another player goes for me I can't cast anything because I clicked someone um, and I have the the, 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 uh, the ability cooldown and I just died and lost all my gear stupidly because I was looking on my own screen and I'm like you know I really need to reevaluate how I'm playing this game I'm trying to solo PvP I'm trying to you know um, do random stuff you know, I, I do want to go back to the Stalker's Gear set because that was really fun, but I want to try everything out. And I implore you, if you're kind of getting burnt out in the game, or if you, if you feel like the game's dying, or you feel like you're not going to play the game at release, or you're really annoyed because the devs haven't committed to a release date yet, just try things out. You know, I've seen so many people, and I've encountered so many people in guilds who are just like, yeah, I run Claws. And it's like, oh, what else do you run? No, I just run Claws, that's it. It's like, well, well, come, try things out, you know, try, try, try the pole arm, try the, the axes, the, you know, the axes are PV focus, try them, you know, um, if you, you know, read the dev posts because they're releasing new artifact weapons and stuff and it looks really cool, there's a new biome coming at the end of the month, so there is stuff to do, just kind of learn things and try things out, you know, don't be a one hit wonder kind of guy because come release you're going to be behind someone who knows exactly what they want to do, so I know I'm kind of rambling on, I want to kind of ramble on towards the end of this video I might just cut it and you can see the the end boss but it's it's if you've watched my t6 dungeon guide you kind of know what's happening here anyway so I implore you guys if you're kind of getting burnt out in the game kind of reevaluate maybe your um, approach to the game uh, your attitude you know you want to learn things just if you've got up if you're sitting on a load of silver and you've stopped playing then just get a gear set and go in PvP, you know, join some join some guild and just go in PvP or just be stupid and risk, a, you know, and, and risky. Just go to the edge of the map into the black, the edge black zones and farm expensive mats or try and solo hard mobs. You know, I nearly soloed a, a T4 um, Hellgate boss uh, a couple of days ago. I nearly did it, you know, just I'm just doing stupid stuff because everything is going to be wiped. Everything is going to be wiped you know if you're gonna quit until release at least just go and be absolutely stupid buy that your dream artifact set if you can sell all your gold and buy your dream artifact set and just go in pvp you know um you, you smash your learner points what you know don't sit on your learner points till they're like 300 smash them into like t4 items and try them out um that's what i'm at least i'm saying you know Reevaluate your attitude maybe if you're feeling a little bit burnt out in the game so thanks for watching this guys let me know how you're feeling about the game how you're feeling about the beta the current um, frequency of releases i know the the biomes are coming at the end of the month um there's another biome to come there's a lot of changes there's a big laundry list of changes that the devs have put out and i'm struggling to see them release the game before the end of the year and i'm really sad to hear myself saying that Hopefully they can prove me wrong. But let me know how you're feeling, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'll let the video end to, uh, run to the end. I'm just about to get this boss. Um, if you like Albion Online content, do consider subscribing. Thank you so much for watching, guys. See you later.